You guys got an Android device? Like the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE? I love this phone, right? Or the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra? I love this phone too. And you know something? They got a whole bunch of features in these phones, right? But there are some features that you don't know about. You know why? Because they're hidden. Samsung didn't want you to know about it, unless you're a developer or an IT person. But guess what? I'm going to show you about these features and they're called developer's options. And I'm going to give you the 10 best developer's options that everybody can use or might need. And you're going to get that right here, baby. Let's move. Okay, so I guess the first thing here is to try to figure out how to unhide or enable developer's options, right? So what you want to do is go to settings. Now, once you go to settings, you will see about phone at the very bottom of that settings menu. And don't worry about that little message pop up that you got at the bottom there. Just go ahead and click on software information. Now, if you touch that, you will see that it will bring up another menu. And what we're looking for is build number. Now tap it seven times, right? And after you enter your pin code, you will see that the developer's options or developer's mode has now been turned on. Now, initially, you might have to go back to your home screen in order to see the actual developer's options, right? So let's go do that and hit settings again and go to the very bottom and notice developer's options is now there. Now, what you want to do is just touch that and then you will see that you are in the developer's options menu settings. Now, there's a whole bunch of them here, okay? I can't begin to tell you how long it takes me to find something in this, but I'm going to show you an easy way how to find them later. But for now, let's move on to the next cool feature for developer's options. Options, and this one is called stay awake now before I get into this option let me explain something to you okay if I go to my display and I want to just time out okay you know what that means that means I want my display to turn off when there is no activity within a certain time frame right and sometimes we can set this to never turn off the display when there is no activity but let's go check out screen timeout now you notice that there's 15 seconds 30 seconds one minute five minutes but there is no never here right so how do I keep my display on constantly well I'm going to show you how to do it go to developers options and what you're going to do is go to where it says stay awake now this allows your smartphone to stay awake when you have an external power source plugged in for example a USB charging or it is charging now let's move on to the next one so when you touch your screen and you're scrolling and you're making things open up from here and there is there a way that you can make your phone respond a lot faster well not in your settings, right? But if you knew where it was in the developer's options, maybe you'd be able to fix that problem because you can turn your transitions and animations off. So that way your phone will respond really quickly. How about that? Huh? Yeah. How about that? But how about this? What you're doing actually is not really turning them off. You're actually minimizing the amount of time that the transition or animation takes to effect. Therefore, it seems as if your phone is responding much faster. Now, you notice that there's so many features in developers options, right? So if you went to the search tool at the very top, the little magnifying glass, you will see that you'll be able to find all of the options and the features in developers options much faster. Now you notice I already have something selected here from a previous search, but if I type in a partial T-R-A-N-S for transition animations, you will see that I will be able to find transition animation scale and just tap on it and voila, look at that. It's at the very bottom and all you have to do is just to touch it and you'll be able to now select the variations of how long the animation will take to effect. Isn't that cool? So now let's go ahead and open up an app and see if it made any difference. I'm going to go to my camera app and open it up and see what happens huh it seemed to have opened up a little bit faster than i usually would expect but uh, then again my eyes don't work that fast all right let's move on to the next one you want me to show you how to have a little dot appear on the screen every time you touch the screen it's pretty useful right because you keep tapping that screen and you keep tapping the wrong place right but if you had a little animation a little dot that was there on the screen right as you're tapping it look wouldn't it be helpful okay can you get that in the settings do you know where that is huh? no you don't because i'm gonna have to show you it's in developers options Let's go. Okay, cool. Now, you know that before it used to be what's called show touch, right? In the previous Android device models. Well, this one is called show taps and you, you see me already trying to find out how to get to this thing, right? It's really difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to my search tool and just type in show taps. Okay. Don't forget to put the space in there, but you won't need to, because even if you do a partial abbreviation, 
you'll be able to find show tabs right there. See it at the very bottom? Now go ahead and touch it. Now once you touch that, it'll take it again right to the very bottom and you'll be able to find your options very quickly by doing that. Trust me, you better listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't want to pull all the hair out of your head like I did last month, right? <laughs> and if you notice that if I tap my screen in repeated succession, that you will see the little dot appearing. You know something? I think Samsung did this just so they can make us crazy. Let's move on to the next one. Force RTL layout. Now the reason I like this one so much is because I'm left-handed, see? So I can have all of my apps and everything and my layout switch over from the right side to the left side. Let me show you how to do it. Go ahead and hit your settings button, go to developers options at the very bottom, and then you're gonna be looking for Force RTL layout. Now you already know how to search for this, right? Okay, so I won't be seeing you pull all the hair out of your head. So go to the top search tool and then you're going to type in Force RTL layout. Now you can just start typing that in right now. And even if you're doing a partial of this, you will be able to find it somewhere in the list. Now notice what just came up, force RTL layout direction, right? May the force be with you. And you see how easy it was to find that? It just popped right up, right? Right at the very bottom. Go ahead and touch it. And this is going to allow you to be able to turn the direction from right to left. Now you see how my orientation just changed, right? This is what's going to be preferable for me because I'm left-handed, right? All I need to do is just to use my left hand, but you can switch it back to the right side if you'd like. All you have to do is just to tap that little button. Now for curiosity's sake, let's go to my home screen and see if it has any effect. Wow, look at that. The settings used to be on the right side. Do you remember when you saw that? Now it's on the left, right? And everything else has changed also. And this awesome feature can only be activated in developer's options. Now, aren't you glad I showed you this? I'm going to go ahead and set this whole thing back to the correct way. So that way I'll have my smartphone settings in the right orientation. How about that? <laughs> Number six, running services. Now you can go ahead and watch any video that'll tell you where running services is in developers options, but how many of them are going to tell you what exactly it is? Well, here you go. Running services is a way that you can view all of the apps that are running and also be able to determine how much RAM that they're using or utilizing. Now, this is an extremely useful option because let's say there's a situation where you have a particular app that's just sucking the life out of your RAM memory, right? Wouldn't it be good to know exactly which one it is so that way you can get rid of it or turn it off or something? Right? You see, this Mike Sites YouTube channel making a difference in the world, having a lot less people going bald, right? <laughs> Want to keep all that hair on your head? Hit that like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and that'll keep everything in the right place. Better believe it. Man, those automatic updates are a pain, right? Especially when it's happening when you don't even know about it. Well, guess what? I'm going to go and turn it off. Let me show you how to do it. So the only way that you can stop this violation of the update privileges that you currently have is to prevent it from updating. And you can do it here when you go to automatic system update. You see how I can turn it on or off, right? This is the only place that you'll be able to do that in developer's options. Now let's go to number eight show refresh rate. Now, this is how you'll be able to have an active notification on your screen at all times, which indicates the refresh rate that you're currently running. Now, this is a very handy feature if, for example, if you're interested in seeing which apps run at higher refresh rates and which ones run at lower refresh rates, right? Such as gaming apps, which may be at 90 hertz or how about your camera app which may be only running at 60 hertz wouldn't that be important to know exactly where you stand in regard to your refresh rate okay now that's indicated at the very top left do you see that and it will turn 120 hertz green or 60 hertz red now i do believe that there is a way to force enable a 90 hertz on this particular smartphone that i'm holding right now which is my samsung galaxy s21 ultra but We'll leave that for another video, all right? Number nine, default USB configuration. Now, this one is super easy to find because all you have to do is scroll up and look for the little symbol, or should I say the little USB icon on the left side of default USB configuration, and there you have it. Now, let me explain this a little bit to you, okay? This is where you'll be able to specify exactly how you want your computer to identify your device. For example, you can either be transferring files, USB tethering, MIDI, right? Or you can do transferring images, or when you plug a USB in, it will be charging your phone only. Now, isn't that cool? So let's move on to the next one, okay? Number 10, how do I reset my 
developer's options back to the way it was when I first started. My default settings, well that's very simple, okay? All you have to do is just go to the very top and you will see where you have the little on or off button. Well just go ahead and turn it off. And once you've done that, a little message will appear at the bottom that's asking you if you'd like to restart your device. Now go ahead, restart it. Now notice how my Samsung is restarting and now I'm back to my home screen again. But if I go to my settings, you will notice that the developer's options is at the very bottom, right? And once I go back into this area, you will see that everything has been set back to default settings. Now, I'm going to be having some more of these on Bluetooth next time. So you guys stay tuned. All right, I'm out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this video for you. You know something? The developer's options, pretty useful tools, right? Hey, I don't want my phone doing something that I didn't authorize it to do, right? I can go into developer's options and turn those features on or off anytime I want to, right? So can you. And listen, this is what you can do too. Hit that like button and subscribe, okay? And don't forget, I got more videos coming, okay? I may have just shown you the 10 best, but I got 10 more coming, okay? There's a lot more to these phones than you possibly imagine. But listen, until you hit that notification bell, you'll never know, right? So what do we always say? We live every day. We laugh beyond words, right? And we learn. Peace, baby. I'll see you guys on the next one.